Here are a few ideas to help you find your family's fit at Christmas this year. Number one, don't try and do everything. You don't need to do something just because someone else is doing it and you feel like you should. And you also don't need to do something just because you've always done it. It might not be working for you anymore. Traditions are great, aren't they? And there can be great meaning and significance in the repetition. But don't run yourself ragged doing something that's supposed to bring God focus and connection if it's not doing that anymore. One of the key tools of Parenting for Faith is surfing the waves, which is about spotting whatever your child is into at the moment and journeying with them. And the wave of your family might be different this year, whether that's because you're grieving or adapting to a big life change and you really need to cut yourself some slack and back off a bit this year, or perhaps your child has shown an interest in something new and you want to explore that. The second thing is to think and pray about how you'd like to focus on God throughout Christmas this year. Start with you. So often our default is to think about the kids first, isn't it? But actually one of the most meaningful things you can do is to figure out how you best connect to God and then create a window for them to see that. So that might just be sticking a Bible verse by the kettle or on your phone screensaver. It could be planning a break in your Christmas shopping to have a festive drink and share your heart with God. Or it could be something like donating some of your time or money to a cause you feel passionate about. Share with your kids what you're doing and why. And if it works, let them see or hear you doing it too. And then the third thing is to think and pray about what your kids are into at the moment and how you can give them opportunities to explore that more. So this will really depend on your child and where they're at. There are loads of ideas from places like Godventure. Uh, Victoria Beach is doing a series on 30 ways to celebrate Jesus at Christmas at the moment. Uh, some examples from families I know are things like if you have a child who's really into social action and justice, doing a reverse advent calendar, so where you collect things for the local food bank each day and give them away. If you've got a child who loves stories and creating things, maybe do a Jesse tree or uh, some kind of advent Bible reading programme. If they love celebration and parties, throw Jesus a birthday party. We've got a great example of Rachel talking about her family and what they do. And if they're big into connection and communication, maybe you could do some chat and catch at tea time uh, and have that Christmas themed or whatever you want. But just be realistic about what you can easily fit into the busy life of your family. For many of you, doing something every day will be too much. Perhaps you could do something one Sunday during Advent or pick an afternoon in the Christmas holidays to do a one-off thing. You know your children best, so do whatever you think. And if you try something and it absolutely bombs, don't worry, you don't have to keep doing it. The pressure's off. Have a great Christmas.